Good morning, friends. I brought a book to circle time with us, to, for us, called I Don't Want to Be Big. It's about a frog. Who doesn't want to grow up? Let's check out little frog. You need to eat your dinner. I don't want to. You don't want to grow? I don't want to be big. Well, why not? His dad's very confused, huh? Well, first you're one inch, then you're two inches, then three. When does it stop? You can't stay small forever. An ant stays small forever. So now you want to be an ant? Well, not really. You don't want to be tall? I have you to be tall for me. You can just carry me around. That will work out great. Let's go over here, now here, a little to the left, perfect. Don't you want to be able to jump high enough to meet the tree frogs? Where's the tree frog? They cold. I think I'm okay not meeting the tree frogs. What if there's something you want to reach? I have big friends. What's so bad about being big anyway? If I grow big, I'll miss the leg room or hit my head on things. And do elephants win at hide and seek? Nope. All I'll do is sit around and just be big. Are you sure you don't ever want to be big? I am so sure I don't want to be big that on a scale of one to 10, I'm here. He's an 11. He really doesn't want to be big. What's the trouble, asked Pig? I don't want to be big. Well, Frog, things just have a way of growing and there are good things about growing too. You're closer to the sun? Actually, that has its drawbacks. You get to wear huge shoes, <laughs> uh, I'm a pig. I don't wear shoes. The best part is I get the biggest pool of mud and the biggest bucket of garbage. Is there anything good about being big that isn't mud or garbage? Not really, but growing bigger doesn't mean you have to grow up. It doesn't? Nope. Look at them. They're playing in the mud. I've been thinking. You have? I think it will be okay to be big. So you'll eat your dinner? Sure. Look at his dinner. Ugh. There's bugs in there. That's what frogs eat, isn't it? But I'll never take a bath. Oh, yucky frog. Look at, he's filthy. He needs a bath, doesn't he? All right, so I'm going to share my screen. So today we're going to talk about some pond animals, some frogs, uh, ducks, turtles, and then next or tomorrow we're going to start into our, we're on our way. So that's going to talk about going on a trip and taking a train or an airplane or a bus or your car. So we're gonna talk about traveling. All right, so here's our pond creatures. First we have a turtle. Look at him, he can swim underwater, but he needs air to breathe. He has a really hard shell and he's really, really shy. And he's cold-blooded, he's a reptile. So. He swims under the water and when he gets really scared, his little head pops inside of his shell. Oh, there's a frog. Frogs can jump. Frogs are amphibians. They can swim in the water, but they need air to breathe too, just like the turtle. So the turtle and the frog both need air to breathe. They'll sit on a lily pad to catch their food and bask in the sun. They love the sun. They're cold blooded, so they need the sun to keep their bodies warm. Oh, there's a duck. Duck can swim in water, but they need air to breathe too. They have webbed feet that help them paddle through the water. Their feathers are designed to repel water, so they don't really get wet. The water kind of sits on top of their feathers. They have an oil on their feathers that keep their bodies from getting wet because sometimes they swim in very cold water, don't they? Ducks don't have teeth, so they can't really bite you. Um, they'll try, they'll take their little beaks and go but they can't bite you, they don't have teeth. Ducks can fly, 
Oh, look at the beautiful fish. The fish swim in the fresh water. They can even live in the water if the top of the water freezes. So they just go a little deeper down. They kind of slow their bodies down, but they're okay. They have gills, so they need to breathe under the water. They can't breathe air like we do. They don't have lungs. They have gills. All right, we're gonna sing the speckled frog song, okay? This is really cute. Welcome, everyone. We love pickle melon, don't we? Oh, look at the froggies. <laughs> she said no, no, no. life cycle of a frog. This one's really cute too. Oh, they're 
growing legs. Not a frog yet, it's still a tadpole. The tadpoles grow front legs, grow front legs, grow front legs. The tadpoles grow front legs, but still it's not a frog. It's not a frog yet. The tail shrinks and the legs get strong, legs get strong. They're turning into frogs, aren't they? So we're going to count some frogs now. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten frogs. Oh, there's a duck. Let's count our ducks. There's one, two, three, four. Five ducks, five little ducks. All right, let's go back. Let's count our frogs again. Should we count our frogs again? Let's do, whoops, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, friends, I hope you have a great day.